something to see your oxygen. This one's for carbon dioxide. If you're twitching your legs. Santa says, oh, Raymond, we're sleeping here tonight. Right then, it's not time to sleep just yet, sweetie. It's not time to sleep just yet. You go to sleep at the hospital. You'll sleep there, not here. So stay okay. awake, stay awake. Hey, Braylon. You're supposed to be sleepy at the hospital, so let's stay awake. Good girl. Good girl. We'll listen to some music. We'll listen to some fun music on the way there. Think she'll stay awake for the next hour and a half while you no. drive there? In the dark? No. <laughs> you see your sleep room? Your sleep study room? Mm -hmm. We got a spot for mommy to lay down over there. Mm -hmm. We got a TV if you want to watch a TV while they're hooking all these things up to you. Look at all them things. All them things are going to hook up. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling kind of bad tonight? Got messy, clean hair. Mm -hmm. Let's get you out of the chair soon, okay? What all you got? Something to see your oxygen. You're breathing out of your mouth or you're breathing out of your nose. If you're grinding your teeth. Mm -hmm. How much you open your chest up and down? So this one's for carbon dioxide. It's like a pulse ox only is for carbon dioxide. You got an oxygen one. If you're twitching your legs, so many things. Some EEG things. You don't like them? We got some bedtime meds though. Are you gonna be able to go sleep? I know. You have a lot to say. Let's turn on your pretty light. Mm -hmm. Power on. There we go. We got our lights. You want Panda? Panda says, "Oh, Raylan, we're sleeping here tonight." We got Panda. You got your lights on? Yeah, those are so calming. I know. Here I am. I'm chilling out. out. Okay, we're getting on the internet so we can play some white noise. Oh, you got the hiccups? Yeah, look at that. Your chest is glowing. Right there. That's that carbon one. What's that? We got our pink noise, our light show. Oh, I know. I'm going to turn off lights, make it dark like at home. And now it's night-night time, okay? Night-night time, okay? You go night-night, then we'll go home in the morning, okay? Okay? Let's go to sleep and we'll go home in the morning. I love you. Mm-hmm. So panda night-night. took our 9 o'clock meds. We'll have 11 p.m. antibiotics, 1 a.m. tizanidine, 4 a.m. Tylenol. So mommy's in charge of meds tonight because they don't give her meds here. They just want us to do what we do at home. It's our meds. Got our first ones in. I'm going to set up my bed here and then set Quiet alarms for all of our med times. First one in about an hour and a half. Set up my bed. Bed made. And this is actually one of the most comfortable beds they uh, have in this hospital. And if Raylan sleeps well, actually I sleep, I sleep pretty well at the hospital too. And there will be no beeping and no coming in tonight for her because on sleep studies they try to keep your room really quiet anyways so yeah gotta gotta get up three different times to give her meds or turn her food on but otherwise I'm hoping for a really quiet restful night so we will see <laughs> Almost asleep. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. So, I don't know what they saw. They saw some oxygen dips, and then I don't know what else they saw, but around 11 30, she came in and said, 
We're gonna put her on half a liter of oxygen for for now. We might change it later. It's like I said. I said, okay. Did you see how like she dips and comes back up? And she goes, yeah, we saw that. We saw a lot of things. So I think it's gonna be good. So you know, you're always worried like they're gonna do the weird stuff they do when they're getting recorded to see what they do. To doing their weird stuff. So that's good. I don't know what all it is, but they got some good information, sounds like. So uh, just gave the tizanidine and turned her food back on. So get another little nap until it's time to take Tylenol. I've been resting good. Raylan's been resting real good. Um, when her oxygen dips here, it doesn't beep in our room because they're watching it. So like, yeah, we've got some good sleep. With you and I, the future is bright. You want the song? I know, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you, sweetheart. I know. Did you sleep good? Did you sleep good? It's going to be time to go soon. You'll go home soon. What you think? You ready to get all that stuff off? You want this thing off? That's supposed to be the most annoying. Yes. What do you think? Did it bother you? Mm -hmm. I think it did pretty good. I didn't yeah. see any insomnia. That's one thing she does occasionally, which uh -huh. I was glad she didn't do that because you not going to see the breathing issues when she just yeah. stays awake. But she'll wake up during the night. Yeah, and so she's quiet too. So uh -huh. we don't even know for sure when she does it uh -huh. or when she falls back asleep. But yeah. She just, just be awake at like 2 a.m. And we work weird hours sometimes, like <laughs> yeah. early in the morning from home. Mm -hmm. So I'll check on her in between classes and I'm like, what are you doing? She just will be wide awake just staring at the wall. And that's no fun, I'm sure. What do you think? You ready to get all these things off of you? <laughs> you can hmm? see it, can't you? You're like, you said it was off. It is not off. I can still see it there. There. I can still see it there. You're not going to talk to her anymore? Look this way a little bit. Let me see. Let me help Thank you turn you. your head. Thank you, baby girl. You going to look at her? <laughs> hmm. She's okay. nice. She's pretty nice. That's all right. Bye-bye, sleep queen. To the bridge. We are leaving children's hospital the sleep study's over Raylan did not have a ton of chronic seizure there last night which I think means Raylan I think you didn't have any seizures in the last 24 hours she did really really start hurting this morning um, with her legs seems like that maybe has started getting a little worse. It's not all the time, but it's certain times a day. <sighs> I don't know what we're gonna do there. One, one thing I learned today, there's a guy that greets you, the security guard that greets you when you come to Children's. He always knows the time, the temperature, what day it is. How many days till Santa Claus is coming? I mean, I don't know how many hours he works, but he's almost always the guy we have. Almost always when we show up for appointments. And, hey, welcome. Blah, blah, blah. Just real friendly. Step on up here, Mom. Wait right here. How are you doing? Just super, super friendly guy. Anyways, we were leaving today at 6.40 in the morning, so no one has appointments that early. Um, but the nurses were just filing in. It was the beginning, you know, time for them to start their shift. They're just filing in. He's standing there. He's like, good morning, ladies. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, sir. It's 33 degrees outside. Thank you for getting out of your nice warm bed. The children need you. And he just kept saying it over and over. Lovely to see you. Thank you for getting out of your nice warm bed. The children need you. Um, and honestly... If I was a nurse, I think I would think, oh, that's sweet, but I wouldn't think much of it. Um, it, it wouldn't mean too much to me as a nurse. As a parent, to hear him say that to the nurses, 
goodness. Didn't know that choked me up. One more person to remind them, hey, my kid needs you. Um, and to thank them for getting out of their warm beds um, means a lot to me. So, I don't know. I think it means more to a parent than a nurse. I hope they appreciate hearing it. But um, I just appreciate that someone besides mom and dad um, at the hospital reminds them of that as soon as they come in the door. So, yeah, that was sweet. Didn't know he had that job. We've been going here. We've known. We've, we've recognized his face, you know, since we've been coming here. I don't know how long he's worked at Children's. I think one time I saw a short news article on him, um, like on the local news station. He was greeting them, thanking them for getting out of their warm beds, telling them they're important. That just meant a lot to me as a parent. It meant a lot to me. It was sweet. He, he takes his job very, very seriously. Um, and because of that, his job, I think, becomes very important. Okay, that's a rambling. Chris 